Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to discuss displaying either the person's name or their company name or both, conditionally depending on what you got in your Microsoft Access database. Today's question comes from Marcelino in Hefsabud, Georgia, one of my silver members. Marcelino says, in my table I store fields for company name, first name, and last name. Sometimes I have all three, but other times I only have a company name or a person's name. I want to ensure that when printing statements, the company name shows up if it's available, and if not, the person's name is printed instead. All right, so there's a couple of different ways we can do this. First, I'm going to show you the beginner way, which is pretty simple, just involves some property settings on your reports, and then we'll go into the expert version, which doesn't involve any programming, but it requires a couple of functions. Obviously, the expert method will give you better results, but you can just do the beginner one if that's all you want. As far as prerequisites go, of course, I expect that you've taken my Access Beginner Level 1 course. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. And also, go watch this video on Can Grow and Shrink. That's how you can make fields that don't have any data in them disappear on your reports, which is what we're going to talk about first. This will be the beginner method. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can grab off my website if you want to. And in here, I got a customer form, got some person information in here, first name, last name, address. I don't have company name, so let's add that real quick. Right click, design view on the company or the customer table, excuse me. We'll put company name on the bottom. And I'm just going to drag that up so it's right below the first and last name right there. Just keep them all together, right? All right, let's save that. Let's switch over to data sheet view and let's put some data in here. I want a couple of people with company names and a couple of people without. So I'll put Amicron in here and we'll do uh, enterprise. Uh, let's get rid of Deanna's name. So we got a person with no name, but uh, beta Z Inc. And we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of Picard too. We'll do a uh, Chateau Picard. Okay. So we got a couple people that have all three. We got a couple that are just companies and then the rest are all just people's names. And we're going to work with that. Okay. All right. So save that. Let's close it. Let's go make a quick person report. Welcome down to reports. I got a blank report already set up. It's just got all my basic settings like margins and stuff. So I'm going to copy and paste that one. And I cover how to build that in the video, the blank template video where I show how I built this database. It's on my website. Again, you'll find links down below. I'm just going to call this my customer R customer report. Let's right click design view. Now let's set this statement up. Let's just pretend we're doing an address block, right? You've seen it at the top of any letter that you send out, right? It's got the company name, person's name, address, city, state, all that stuff. So let's just delete this. And I'm going to go up to here to where the report properties are. Double click. That'll bring up the property sheet. Okay. Change the record source. You can either go to the data tab or the all tab. Set the record source equal to our customer table. Now this report is going to get its data and fields from the customer table. We can close this now. All right, let's go to report design. And by the way, I double click to open up or close the ribbon permanently. Okay. That's how you show or hide it. Add existing fields is over here on report design. And let's bring over the fields that we need for this report. I'm going to do first name, last name, company name, and I'm holding down the control key, by the way, click the first one and then hold the control key down and click, click, click. Let's just bring these over. First name, last name, company name, address, click, drag, drop them there. Okay, now for an address block, we don't need these labels, so let's just delete the labels. Okay, so I got first name, last name, put them right next to each other. Company name can be a bit bigger. All right, let's resize that and then address, we'll go right below that. And then, yeah, you'd continue on with your city, state, zip code, all the other stuff. This, these, these fields get the point across. Okay, let's save this and let's print preview it and see what we got. Right click, print preview. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna leave the borders on these for now. Normally I'd turn these borders off, we'll do that later. But I just, so, just so you can see what we've got on here. Notice these ones are blank, this one has no name, this one too, these ones have all three. All right, and then of course you got William Rikers missing a company and the rest of them down below are missing companies. Okay, now, if you watch the Can Grow, Can Shrink video, you know that if there's no data in these fields, if we turn Can Shrink on, 
for both the text boxes and the detail section, then these should disappear. Also provided there's nothing else horizontally on the same line. They have to be by themselves. You can't have a label over here, right? It's not attached. You can't have some other fields over here. That has to be nothing on that line. So how do we do that? Design view. I'm going to select. You can hide the address too if you want. That's up to you. Select all of those fields. Right click. Go to properties. Now on the format tab, we're going to scroll down to can shrink and change that to yes. You can double click, change it to yes. You also have to change the can shrink property in the detail section to yes. This allows this to shrink up. All right. If you don't do that, it won't work. That's the number one thing people always ask me. And I cover that in the can shrink video. All right. And also make sure there's nothing else horizontally over here. You can have a picture over there or some other fields or whatever. Now save it. Right click, print preview, and there we go. These have all three. These ones are missing a person's name. These ones are missing a company name. And now you can go through and you can hide the, or turn off the borders or whatever else you want to do. Now, this is a very simple way to go about doing it. What if you want this to look a little more professional? What if you want, for example, it says on top, the statement prepared for, and then the company name. Or if there is no company name, the statement prepared for the person's name. Well, we can do that using a query and some functions, and we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. Or if you're a member, you can watch it right now. That's one of the benefits of being a member. And we'll talk about the expert part of this video. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the Join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free?
The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.